Hi everyone, it is Toby from Toby's Urban Sketch and today is Art Fundamentals, I think number three, and it's all about pen work. So pen, the basis of a lot of urban sketching. So it's going to be hands-on, loads of sketches and reference photos. And um, we'll be covering important things like how do you hold your pen? How can you practice using it? to loosen up and to vary your line work and how can we combine different pens or use different types of pen to create different effects if you enjoy these videos as always please do like and subscribe uh, so i can get more content out to people who enjoy it and thank you very much for watching so an interesting point to consider is how you're holding the pen and it might sound really basic but look how different it is when i write and when i sketch between holding it with a real writing grip and a really loose sketching grip. And just have a play with how you're holding the pen and see how holding it in different ways lets you loosen up, lets you sketch more quickly, more freely and can produce more interesting and perhaps characterful results. Might I be so bold even to suggest you try something like I do with my 10 minute challenges where you challenge yourself literally to just use a different pen grip and then see what happens. But it's not just about how we're holding the pen, it's also about how we're thinking about the process, how we're approaching our line drawing and how we're making decisions as well in the image. So here's what's going to be 10 different little techniques you can try to loosen up. Well, I suppose it's nine because this one, this first one's an example. So that first sketch there, that's just with a, a normal grip, I'm not trying to do anything special, just quickly getting some marks down. But then if I, I take it to this loose grip, I've just shown you when we're talking about the grip, but again you can just see how much more character suddenly comes from that. Something else I absolutely love doing is continuous line drawings and I do it for a huge number of my watercolour paintings is approaching things with this continuous line which joins everything up, it adds interesting texture, it makes things more interesting to look at and quicker and certainly looser to draw. And you can introduce these random lines at the bottom as well. And the basic principle is start drawing and don't take your pen off until you've finished. On that kind of principle as well, you can just literally introduce random squiggles into your drawing. So you see as I'm drawing around this version, literally just occasionally just flipping my pen to the side, up and down. And it's really interesting, it's got so much character and you can build those lines into your image. Now, a fun warm-up sketch technique, something which can get you just going, is, is doing a continuous line drawing, but without looking. So I promise I wasn't looking as I did this, and I hope you believe me based on how it turned out. But again, isn't it, isn't it interesting? And it just gives you that confidence to then go, well, actually, this is quite an interesting way of drawing. And then another, another version, a bit like the loose script, but just being really gentle on the page, just skimming the pen over the page gives you a, little, a different quality of line and it makes things a little bit harder to control and again it's worth experimenting with even in your normal drawing beyond just doing it as an exercise. Um, along that line as well you could try using broken lines so here I'm literally just making making my lines just stop at random points and then restart so instead of having these long drawn full lines we've got these gentle changing interesting lines and that's a really useful way of approaching roof lines and things like that another idea is to uh, exaggerate the perspective so here this is drawing three point perspective so there's a vanishing point to either side and above and it's really just going oh wow this this isn't what the building looks like but this is my experience with the buildings this thing is huge it's so big the perspective is mental and then you can you know exaggerate or you can just go just gonna add stuff you know just from memory just like the fun loose things so a couple of people a man on the roof a man, the two people in front maybe a flower bed and then a let's pop a tree to the side as well you know all of this stuff is it's loose and inventive and creative and then something else i like doing is using extra pen marks to imply textual character. So during this exact same building, but going a bit squiggly and uh, filling in gaps and just adding loads of extra lines just gives that building so much texture. It's also just more difficult to control and ends up giving you therefore 
sort of more interesting image. So one simple concept with thinking about how to you know, vary your line work is, is simply using different pens. So in this example I'm just I'm showing you I'm using a 0.5mm line liner and I'm using sort of simple relatively neat lines to produce this sort of neatish image. But how else can we can we change this up? How can we make a bit of variation? So this is a 0.1mm pen. This time I'm being much lighter and looser. I go back and forth. I'm being a bit more intricate with the lines, a bit more random as well. Not focusing necessarily on being exactly straight. And we can see this gets us a different effect. It's more like an old little village, more interesting, more characterful. And now I'm using a 0.8mm pen and I'm using big, broad, geometric strokes. I'm often sort of overlapping, going beyond where the the line should should finish and that gives you this sort of strong geometric feel again more modern and different and now let, let's try something completely different this is a chisel pen which has got lots of different textures you can get out of it and just by using it in different ways and using the blunt part of the chisel to produce a more tonal contrast you get a, a more dramatic image it, Again, quite straight and geometric, but more dramatic. So there we are, just using different pens. We've got what I've called neatish, wobbly and characterful, geometric, and a contrasting, vivid image. Really easy. Now, so far, we've sort of discussed different ways of using one pen or using different one pens. To produce different effects. But what happens if we try a scene using multiple pens to produce different effects all at once? So in this example this is the War, War Memorial near my family home, Jonathan Kings, and when I'm starting off with a 0.1mm fine line I'm just sketching my normal style which is sort of a little bit loose, definitely a bit wobbly, and I, I do love using a 0.1mm pen for this idea. And you can see I've got the War Memorial, the actual statue in the front left. We've got these houses in the distance. Then in between we've got these hedges, the fence and the big tree. So using a, a boulder pen, a 0.5mm pen, we can get depth and focus, a focal point. And you see immediately when I started putting in these boulder lines and then using a 0.8mm pen, an even bigger pen on the very front of the image, you've got this real depth and interest and layers going through the image. And hopefully to explain that a bit more clearly, I've labelled the image, you can see a sort of a front, a middle and a back. And then even beyond this, you can see in the tree, just having those two different lines gives an idea of texture of of leaves, of, of depth, much more than just having one single element, one single line can do. And that is everything from me today. So we've talked about lots of different pens, ways of using pens together, nine, ten different techniques just to practice and go and loosen up um, and, and sketch you know, maybe the same scene several times, maybe just try them all out on different scenes or pick things, elements that you want to use in different sketches. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, subscribe, leave a comment, contact me on Instagram, whatever. I love hearing from people. Um, and yeah, really grateful that you've got this far and watched. Thanks very much.